Hello, my name is Gail Morton, and I'm going to show you how to use Web of Science. I'm going to go to libraries.mercer.edu. Scroll down. Click on Research Guides and Tutorials. Click on Chemistry. Web of Science. Some really good journals in here. Um, not everything is full text in here. These are the top scholarly journals that you'll find in here. But if there's an article that isn't there, we can order it through Interlibrary Loan. Just let us know. Okay, so I'm going to do, I'm just going to put in a simple search here. find full text here if it's got the bear and you're signed in. Make sure you sign in. Here they are. Okay. Now we can limit these results. Okay. Open access, that means that um, it's freely available once it's published. Associated data means just other things that come along with it. Uh, publication years. Here's Web of Science categories show you some content, document types or content types. You can go to article, you can go to proceedings, book chapters, early access, that means that something's been, it's ready to be published, it's not quite there yet. Okay. You can um, limit by an organization who funded it, the research. Authors, here you have funding agencies. Okay. We've got a lot of neat stuff in here. Okay. You can see all the people, more options and values here. Health and Human Services. Okay. So if we look at um, publication years, see these jewels, you'll see. The time side over here is zero. That's probably because it's brand new, hadn't quite come out yet. See the date, July 2020? It's early. So we're not going to get much of a usage count, but if we picked something, let's just say 2018, then I refine. Okay. Then you'll start seeing time cited. Okay. I also want to show you up at the top here, sort by. Time cited. So if I click on here. This article was cited by other research 168 times. Okay, a usage count. Okay. Again, time cited. This is how many times it was used since 2013. You can analyze the results. Okay. If you want to click on that. But also do searches and alerts. So what this will do is any time new research comes out that you're interested in, you create an account in the Web of Science and it will send you an email of when a new article comes out uh, that would be help you with your research. Okay. That's how you use Web of Science.